tune your guitar, what the string names are, and so forth. So we'll talk about the string names first. And uh, the first string is always known as the one closest to the floor. So that's the high string, and then it works its way up to the low string, right to the sixth string. So the very first string is an E string. And this is how an E string sounds like. That's the high E string. The next string is the B string. B as in Bob. And that's how that one sounds. The next one is your G string. Now I know what you're thinking. Keep that dirty mind. But it's the third string up, or is known as the G string. Uh, the next string up is a fourth string, or the D string. The fifth string is also known as the A string. And last but not least, the, the sixth string is also known as an E string. And that's how it sounds. And that's standard tuning, but there's so many different alternate tunings that we may get into it in this course. We may not. We may look at it further down the road. Um, so we're going to talk about how to tune your guitar. So with today's technology, there's so many different ways to tune your guitar. Um, years ago, people would tune by ear. And... Um, I can show you how to do that uh, probably in a future video. If you so desire, please leave a comment down below if you wish to learn how to tune by ear. But today really is not necessary with technology. And let's look at the first uh, method. Um, here is a clip-on tuner. And basically... Uh, it's about $15 or $20 at your local uh, music store or on Amazon and so forth. The one I have is a Deodario, and um, it, it costs me around $20. And basically how it works is you clip it onto the stock of the guitar. It's a fantastic invention. It, it came out probably seven or eight years ago, maybe. I'm guessing. And... You clip it on the stock of your guitar and it picks up the vibrations from your guitar. And it's calibrated uh, for standard tuning. And before I go any further, uh, a guitar is standard tuning, a guitar is tuned in what they call A440. And basically, what that means, you don't have to get into the physics of it. But A440 means when you hit the A string, which is the fifth string, uh, it vibrates 440 times per second, which is pretty awesome, hey? Eh? Uh, it's unbelievable. We don't have to get into the physics of that, but basically that's what they mean when they say a guitar standard tuning is an A440. So we can turn on this and it lights up. And it's set to auto. I'm just going to use my pick. And I'm going to start down on the low st string. So what would happen when I hit? And then you can see the E coming up on the, uh, on the, on the uh, display. Now, you will either see it either being flat or sharp or it could be right on. So... When, when the lights are up to the top of the note, of the actual note being the E in this instance, it means it's a little flat. So what you have to do, you have to tighten, tighten the, uh, the tuning peg. And um, you tighten it up to the desired pitch until you get the lights on both sides. That's this one. They all are different. Um, and they will pick them up. They will pick up all the string names. So in this act, so I'm just going to go through. 
and um, I'm hopefully going to show you. So when I when I hit, you'll see the E, and you can see that one is pretty well in tune. I'll go to the B. It's picking up my voice, by the way. A G sharp there now. Going up to the B. That one's in tune. Go to the G. As you can see, both are in tune. To the D. Now that one's not quite in tune. So you can see that the uh, it's probably a little sharp. So you would just bring it back. Actually, my fault. Tighten. I was looking at it wrong then. So then, go to an A, and that one's right up, and then to an E, and you can do a strum. Once you learn a chord, that's a G chord, and that is the clip on. There is also and in line. This is a bass where if you had a pickup in your guitar or you normally if you were on stage this would be, uh, I've used this so many times um, when I play on stage so basically it's got an in, you plug in on the other side and out it goes out to the PA system or an amplifier, whatever you're using. And it has a foot switch. So what happens when you hit the foot switch, it turns the tuner on, and then it cuts the sound going to the PA. So the audience don't hear. And you will see right here, the note will come up. And when it's in the middle, it's in tune. When it's this way, it's flat. If it's too far this way, the lights is too sharp. So when it's too flat again, you tighten your string. When it's too sharp, you loosen until you get it to the desired. This is a great pedal. It's like a tank. I've had that for years. I'm no, I'm, I don't endorse these at all. But I just, I just want to say the Boss pedals are like tanks. There is another great pedal out there as well from TC Electronics that works very well. I don't own it, but it's a great pedal as well. But that is the inline one. Last but not least, and everybody has one this day and age, is the smartphone. Rather it be Android or iOS, you can get an app and it also picks up um, the sound, the tuning of the, the notes and um, the one that I've been using here, again I'm not affiliated with it, it's Fender Tune there's so many of them out there and um, you can probably see it here, it's Fender Tune and what I just do, I hit the auto and then when I strike the note it'll come up and there's a green light that comes in there. It was right in the, in the center of the circle in green. The note is in tune. Or the string is in tune, I should say. If it's yellow to this side, it's flat. So you have to tighten your string. Vice versa, if it's over to this side, it's too sharp. And you would have to loosen your string. So that is basically how you would tune up your guitar.